Hey everybody, Sarah Grillo here. Some job tips for you that are looking to get into a hedge fund. So I help a lot of people with this and I recently um, read this story about this guy that did it this way and this is the way that I actually teach people to do it, okay? So there's, and I'm linking this article below, but there's, there was a college kid, I think he was in college, um, and he called T. Boone Pickens he called this hedge fund like 30 times in a month. He called the guy like every single day. And finally, the hedge fund calls back and it looks like they were going to be on the Good Morning America show or something and they needed people to be in the audience. And so they called up the intern and they said, get 30 people to be in the audience and we will give you a job. And so he did that and he got the job. And so a uh, tremendous success story. And what makes it successful is two things. So one, he was persistent and determined, and two, he delivered. All right, so those are, I mean, and it really comes down to that. The reason that many people fail getting to the buy side, this is extremely competitive. Many people that attempt to become investment managers are you know, extremely intellectually superior. They are very, very intelligent. You're talking about, you know, many times with the CFA, you're talking about like, these are the intellectual one percenters. These are the top students, the math team athletes, right? Doesn't mean that they're persistent and determined, right? I mean, you're gonna be Rocky Balboa and just keep punching the bag. And that's what this kid did. You know, I always use the analogy of the lumberjack. The lumberjack keeps swinging the ax until the tree falls. The ax and the lumberjack don't fall, the tree falls if the lumberjack keeps swinging, right? If you keep swinging, the tree's gotta come down. Now, many people don't understand that because they haven't had to do that because they have been intellectually superior and there was nothing that they really had to work for in life that taught them to keep swinging the ax. But he kept swinging like a lumberjack, he kept swinging the ax and the tree eventually fell. The second thing is though that he was powerful in the sense that it wasn't just that he had all these thoughts and he was saying that he wanted to work for him. He literally did whatever it took. He stopped at nothing. He was given a pretty challenging task and he executed on it because he had the drive and the determination and the true desire. And so that's what I mean is that like he had the commitment, right? And that's what I keep telling all my clients. It's that, you know, if you want to do this, you have to be able to walk the talk. And that's what this kid was able to do. There's nothing that I hate worse than when I have a client that says like, you know, I have these, I have so many things that we do together in our action plan. I have so many things on the agenda. And then they say to me, oh yeah, you know, I want to have your, pro or like some people don't want to even buy the program because of how much money it costs, right? I'm like, go out and tutor somebody in Spanish or go walk somebody's dog and get the monthly fee that it's going to take you to pay this for four months, okay? I offer flexible payment plans, not more than your phone bill. Okay, you're not going to pay more than your phone bill every month. You pay that every month. You find some way, right? Oh, I can't live without my phone bill. But you can't live without a job either, right? But for some reason, people just... Oh, I can't afford $50 a month. How much commitment does that show, right? Or just even sometimes the people I work with, when it's like, were you gonna do, we were gonna do this video session, or you were gonna reach out and make this cold call, they, you know, they can't take the actions that are necessary. They think, because in the back of my, their mind, they think, I'm the best, and I shouldn't really have to work for this. And this kid didn't have that. He had no entitlement. He delivered the baby when the baby was due and that was it and that's why he won the battle so articles below take a look at it let me know what you think thanks everybody for watching